with so many fad diets out there, I'm here to tell you today that I have the real deal, Lauren Haas, who is a holistic practitioner. She is a holistic nutritionist who's created the 10-day wow cleanse, and it's really going to get you back on your feet. So, Lauren, thank you for being here in the thank studio you. with us. Thank you. So, there are so many fad diets. We've talked about this. Eat this. Don't eat this. Do this. Don't do that. But with your 10-day wow cleanse, what are you telling us that we should be eating? Well, the first thing about the 10 day cleanse is I get to, I'm telling you what you should be doing. Should be doing. Right? And it's like, all we hear about is what not to do. And when people hear what not to do, people get rebellious. Like, don't eat the cookie. <laughs> and then people are like, I ate 10 cookies. Yes. And it's like, okay, so it, we're like, we're all children at the end of the day. Of course, yes. Right? Yes. And these adult bodies. And with the 10 day wow eating cleanse, there's also a 10 day wow vegan cleanse because I like to help everybody and there is not one diet that fits for, that's right for everybody right so we've got our vegans vegetarians carnivores and what I've done is first of all with the wow method is I've actually taken my favorite pieces of all the diets mm. right so um, for example right now keto is like super popular and that's great if it works for some people but for what I do in my practice I'm not a keto practitioner, but I think that fat's really good for you, right? So I also think there's great things about the vegan diet and about vegetarian and about paleo. And what I did with the actual 10 day cleanse and what I do with my regular clients is I take my favorite little pieces. So the 10 day eating cleanse, you get to eat. There's no starvation. Love that. There's no hangry cranky. I love that. There's like just really good clean food. And you start your day off in the morning with a celery juice. Yeah, and I'm like, course. wait, and of course. But I'm also like waiting for the celery juice, <laughs> the celery juice fad to just go away. Look, you know? I have to be honest. I do celery juice every morning, but my husband, who really has been like working hard to lose weight, he thinks the celery juice is making him gain weight, and he's gone off of it. And he said he's lost weight. So, hey, I don't know. It doesn't work. Like you said, everybody's body's different. It's so interesting. I have found that I like struggle with a little bit of um, eczema in the back of my head and I notice that it's 90% gone because of the celery juice. I don't know. Maybe the weather <laughs> changed, but like I'm convinced okay. in right. my head that I'm like waiting for now the celery juice thing to be like, oh, well, it's bad for you, but it's fine for now. But you start your morning um, with a glass of celery juice. Okay. Organic would be preferable. And then after that, um, you can do apple cider vinegar and water if you want to. It doesn't really matter. I, you could do that first, the vinegar and then the celery juice. I'm not, as you, you know me, I'm not like super strict as long as there's, there's like the box of rules, right? But within this box of rules, there isn't always a one, two, three, four. The three and the one might switch. And that's all good. It's all good. Right. So you do the celery juice or the apple cider vinegar water. And then you have a smoothie, and it's a combination of a pea protein that I like from a company called Biotics that you mm -hmm. have to actually call in an order, okay. as well as their NutriClear powder. I, I believe it's also pea protein based. And you mix that with blueberries mm. and preferably wild blueberries. Ooh, so we can have fruit on your cleanse. Oh, totally. Ooh. So it's like no more fruit phobia. Like, Very nice. come on guys, it's okay. So you get blueberries. Almond, unsweetened almond milk, or I'm really into macadamia nut milk right mm. now. I think it's really cool. Um, you put in, you can put goji berries, another fruit, a little bit of almond butter. Oh my god, a fat! <laughs> and you blend it up. You can put spirulina if you want to, maca powder. You could add cacao powder if Delicious. you want to. Sounds great. And if you have a little sweet tooth, you can put a little bit of stevia in it just to like mm. add that little bit of you know sweetness. Um, and then you also take a pack of pills that are, supplements that have been already packaged up for you. Oh, I love so you're yeah, so you're not like have your five, you know, supplements and you're putting them in little packets. It's all done. It has oregano, it has fish oils, it has okay. things for your digestion. Um, and you take that with the breakfast. And then either you can depending on how active you are, so for myself, like I'm already pretty active, so I can just go to the gym and work out. Somebody who maybe isn't as active I would recommend like yoga, walking, hiking, Pilates, something a little bit less intense. Um, and then you, you try your best not to snack between breakfast and lunch. Right. If you have to, you can have steamed vegetables, raw vegetables. But that sounds very filling. I mean, that's maybe these filling. Super filling. But here's the thing, like some people, again, everyone's body is so different. Right. So 
some people, they drink a smoothie and two hours later, an hour later, they're starving. So the flexibility within the structure is, okay, you can have steamed vegetables, raw vegetables, if you need to have you know, a handful of almonds to push you through to lunch, mm -hmm. it's okay. Now, is the purpose of this cleanse to lose weight? Or is the purpose of this cleanse to clean out your gut, your liver? What is, what is the intention of your cleanse? So the main intention is to get back on track. Okay. Which is why it's perfect for right now, for right. you know, end of January, February, and it's gonna be live in February on the site, which is really exciting. Nice. Um, but it's really to get you back on track and to show you that you can feel good by eating real food instead of, you know, steamed carrots and... Right, and just juices. You can chew. Yeah, you can, you can chew and you can eat. Um, I mean, there's even a, a meatball recipe on there that's stuffed with like a whole bunch of greens and, and it's really good. It's um, one of my client's favorite recipes, a whole bunch of them, they all love it. So you have then a lunch, which is a clean, you know, clean organic protein. I don't recommend eating red meat on it because it is pretty hard to digest. Mm -hmm. So chicken, turkey, fish. Um, I take shellfish out of this one. I might take pork out of it. Those are just things that, for now, are not the cleanest, I find, to be so eating. So if you're kosher, you're good to go? If you're kosher, you are good to go. Mm -hmm. um, if you are kosher, and depending on how kosher you are, because I have clients who are orthodox, and I have clients who are not even Jewish, but if you are like orthodox, there are protein powders out there that we can, you can email me and I can recommend. Um, that's easy. Awesome. But you, so then you have your clean protein vegetable lunch. Um, you can eat carrots because, you know, everyone's like, oh, carrots are right, so high in sugar. Right. It's, it comes from the earth. It's okay. So your whole motto is if it comes from earth, it's good. Yeah. You have to eat it. Yeah. I mean, look, if you have certain health issues and you know that, for example, um, uh, tomatoes make your arthritis flare up, then no, you're not going to eat tomatoes. Like, that's just not on your plan. And that's okay. There's other substitutes. So you have that lunch. And then after that lunch, a couple, and then you have supplements with that. And then in the afternoon, you have a, sm a very similar smoothie, except that it's, it's almond milk, cacao powder, the NutriClear, and the, the pea protein. And then you put stevia if you want to in there. So you have like a chocolate shake. Yep. And like, who doesn't love a chocolate shake? So you do that. And then dinner with supplements, you do another clean, uh, clean meal. And I have all, I, I have literally created a PDF for you that has your breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the day one through day 10 with all the recipes in order and it's like just it's there so it's really like I said in the beginning it's not it's about well how to do right right what to eat this is what we're going to do and you do it for 10 days look I've had clients lose weight on it I've had clients clean out their gut because you take a lot of oregano and I recommend not taking probiotics while you're on it just because you're taking an oregano which basically kills everything right your gut um, you take a lot of liver enzymes you know to help cleanse your liver so everyone's um, results are different all right and it's kind of cool to see like you know this client lost like three pounds five pounds this client their weight maintained but like they're actually going to the bathroom which like which is huge huge which is huge yes yeah, so this is amazing because I like the fact that you're giving us recipes we're making it ourselves so we feel like we're in control we're learning new great easy recipes which right. I love about you your recipes are easy and quick and to the point yeah which is awesome yep um, and I love it and I can't wait to do it and it's really fun and it's actually really empowering because you are taking control of your health and something I really pride myself on is that after my clients are have hit their goals or whatever it is like I usher them into the world to stay on their path they are always welcome back in the office for their check-ins I have clients that do monthly check-ins or every couple of months or whatever right but it's really like creating a plan and the 10-day wow cleanse whether it's the vegan one or the regular one what's great is that it's it's the blueprint right 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 and you can also make substitutions too because within the document you get there like say you don't eat uh, meat, but you eat fish, so you buy, you know, you purchase the carnivore one, the regular right. one, you know, instead of doing like turkey meatballs, because you don't eat turkey, you look at the approved foods list and you say, oh wait, I can have X, Y, and Z, so I'll just make something a little bit different, 
And then there's tons of recipes on my website that are also fine to use on the cleanse, and you can pop them in there instead. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks again for being with us in the studio, Thank Lauren. Thank you. I mean, you are a wealth of knowledge. I'm so excited to try your cleanse. And ladies, you saw it right here on Focus TV Network. You can go online to Lauren's website, which is wildorganicwellness.com. And get all these recipes, sign up for the cleanse, and feel better and take control of your health. And we'll see you all next time.